Hi, Capricorn. This is Jeffrey. This is Red Color. Happy birthday. If I haven't been wishing you happy birthday, I'm sorry. Um, this is the re reading for the first week of the year. Well, the reading for the first week of the year, uh, January 1st through the 8th. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications, and your little mini message is have faith. You know, every little every little message is a message for me, is what's going on with me at the moment. And it's funny because I just did the weekly for everyone, right? And then I was like, it's Capricorn season, I'll start with Capricorn. But I checked out the other video and I kept on saying, oh, the lighting isn't good. Now, for me, the lighting isn't good. But on the video, it's actually okay. It's not great, but it's okay. So, you know, sometimes our vision is clouded. Sometimes it's like, oh, this is the way. It's like, have faith. Have faith. All right. Uh, please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. I offer private readings. The information is below. I'm offering one question readings for $30. Information below. I also offer IET. Please become a member. Membership really, really, really supports the channel. Um, <laughs> all right. Way we go. Okay. Take responsibility. Well, both of these are like, but take response. Take on. Run with your own thoughts. Run with your own thoughts. You know, take take the bull by the horns and move forward and run with your own thoughts and jump on it and um, have confidence in your own vision. Take the idea and run with it. It's like kind of that, okay? And then this is the king of responsibility. This is really Judah. This is really Judah. Um, Judah is such an interesting character in the Bible. So Judah is the fourth son. And um, so, you know, it's like, it's always the eldest that has all the power. And then, you know, they're all jealous of Joseph. And so they want to kill him in the desert with his fabulous coat of many colors. And, um, and Judah steps up and says like, Let's not kill him. Let's like give him a shot. So they they throw him in a pit or something. And um, so like if something would have, if, let's say, you know, Joseph came to a bad end. If Joseph came to a bad end, then Judah would be responsible. And then later on in the Bible, and then Judah, of course, gets the, um, the blessing. He gets the big blessing. He's the fourth son, but he gets the big blessing. And... Um, You know, this is, the, okay, this is really kind of witchy. So the name of God in Hebrew is um, the, the Tetragrammaton, is what I call it. I'm going to find something I can draw for you. So it looks like this. Judah is my name in Hebrew, by the way. Um, well, there go the dogs. Okay. I know you get a little less in there. You know, it was it was too good to be true. <laughs> All right. So this is what it looks like. Right? And then um what the if you throw in one more letter, it becomes it's Jehovah in a way, right? And then if you throw in one more letter. It, go, it becomes Yehuda. It's a, it's a Dalit. And I was thinking about it today because I saw this thing on the street. And a Dalit is the fourth letter, which is stability. Uh, but it's also uh, a Dalit is a Delet, is, is a door. So it's almost like the res taking responsibility fully and completely for the things we did and the things we didn't do for, you know, really owning up. I, you know, they were so quiet. I don't know what happened. Um, is is really about kingship, you know, about being the king. 
you know, whatever that means, like being being the one in charge is, you know, the door is responsibility. I just got that. All right. It was the whole thing I had on the street today. <laughs> He's the king of responsibility. Okay. So, you know, you're taking responsibility for your own thoughts and for your own actions and, you know, and, and running with it and, you know, not like apologizing and not like, you know, and if you make a mistake, you make a mistake, you know, and then I have the uh, page of cups who's really intuitive and really loving. So, you know, you have intuition. I mean, it's great because you have thought, intuition and passion in the first row. Yeah, you're going in a new direction. You're going in a new direction. It's really good. It's balanced and it's I, I, sometimes sometimes I feel like the star also is um, it's hope, it's inspiration, but it's also um, kind of like let the light from heaven coming down, you know? All right. You're shaking up your foundation. That's how I'm reading it today. You know, you're shaking up your foundation and traveling on a new road that's open and clear and, you know, like maybe this could be starting a business. This could be uh, a new idea of how to make money about stability. You know, to me, the tower it really is. Um, I think that the thing that the tower is, is like shaking your foundation and saying, I'm responsible for this. And I'm going to step up, step into my responsibility, which in, in like in a deeper way, which, you know, shakes things up that's what the tower does it's like a little bit of an earthquake oh we have another one new beginnings new beginnings uh, intuition healing um support spiritual support two aces the sun i'm so glad i read the tower and, and like because that's what the tower is you know it's something it's sometimes from the outside but you know, a lot of times the tower, you know, even in the middle, it, like in the middle of it, it doesn't seem so cute or feel good, but it's, um, it's necessary for you to like move forward, you know, because sometimes we build our foundations on something that's a little shaky and this is like, it, it shakes it up and lets you know, it's like, no, 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 this is the way to do it. Because I have all positive cards aside from that. And then we have the sun, which is about, about abundance and nourishment and clarity, clear thought. I thought the dogs had gone on vacation. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Your lesson has been learned. You've incorporated it and you're, you're reborn. And with, with the star and the two aces and the sun, you know, you are reborn. Happy New Year. All right. Follow your dreams. Yeah, that's what you're doing. You're going on a whole new road. You're going on a whole new road towards something that's satisfying. You're following your dreams. You're following your intuition. It's going to open up in front of you. And you can manifest whatever it is you want. Wow. 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 You know what I think the tower is in this reading? I think it's something on the outside. I don't think it's inside you. I think it's something on the outside. Um, like, let's say you want to open a business, like a store. Yeah, I'm always talking about business. So you want to open, say, a store. And uh, you had all your ducks in a row, la, 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 la. And then before, like, you were supposed to start, say, whatever day, I don't know, February 15th. And then all, like when you was about to, like, I don't know, the, there was a fire in the building and it's like the building isn't there anymore. Like, oh, I had all these plans, da, da, da. but have faith, you know, there's probably a better spot for a cheaper price with more traffic. But, you know, it, it's a little bit like that. Because the tower comes in when we're, our vibration. So here in, in um, the last big earthquake, was in 20, I don't know, 2018 maybe. And uh, I was seeing this thing on YouTube. Um, no, it wasn't that one. They were talking about the 185 that was here, which was a big one. And most of the buildings that fell 
were between six and 15 stories. And, um, and the scientist was explaining it, I mean, because there are some buildings here that are hundreds and hundreds of years old and they didn't fall. And then there are other ones that were, you know, 40 stories and they didn't fall. It was like that sweet spot and it's a vibration, right? Because the, the earthquake vibrates at a certain frequency or something. And if that building is aligned to that frequency, it's gone, right? Um, and, and that's what the tower is about. It's like you're vibrating at a different frequency. So, you know, maybe that place that you thought was the perfect place that burnt down, maybe, you know, it was on a bad foundation. Maybe uh, the neighborhood would have turned bad in a year from now. Maybe, you know, the train that went through there, they were going to work on it. There was going to be, it wasn't going to be any traffic, you know, it could be a million things, but like, that's, that's what it is. It's about vibration. All right. I really talked a lot today. All right. Trust your own thoughts and run with it. You've taken responsibility. Your intuition is really strong. You can choose what it is you want to have. You're going toward your dreams. The road ahead is clear. You're vibrating at a very high frequency. And so thoughts that don't work will, you know, dissipate. Uh, you have new hope and inspiration. You're blessed by spirit. A, a, abundance and clarity are coming. You have learned your lesson. You're listening to the messages. And you're going to manifest what it is you want because you have all the tools that you need. What a great reading. What a great reading. Happy January. Happy birthday. Blessings.